Hi guys, it's your girl Toya Sino Bramer again and I trust you guys are doing very well. Guys, I've had a very, very eventful day. Everything that was could go wrong did go wrong. Um, it's been a very busy, 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 busy 24 hours for me. So the video of today, I wanted to create a glam Thanksgiving makeup look being that Thanksgiving is this week using an item that I I just got you guys can see by the title this is the James Charles Murphy collaboration collaboration the um, the artistry palette created by my fellow youtuber James Charles this is the palette that he created uh, when he collabed with Murphy I got this at Ulta it retails for about $34 but I, I use my points and I used um, my coupons that I get from Ulta to get this at a discount but this is available I know it's sold out online but it's available should they should have restocked now but you can grab this at Ulta so uh, if you want to see how I created this look for uh, well, my Thanksgiving party that we're gonna be having kindly continue to watch and I'll catch you guys on the flip side Bye. now um, it was mentioned I think James mentioned this in this video that to get the color payoff for this palette do not use a concealer use a primer so I will be using the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer to prepare my eyes I will be taking my Morphe M504 fluffy brush to begin and I will be taking this brown shade here this shade here to begin I'm going to use that on top of my crease and act as my transition shade I did notice when I was playing with it initially that some colors were patchy but I guess I wasn't using the right eyeshadow primer so I want to see what this looks like now and I want to go in with my Sigma Lens Tapered E40 brush I want to put another color I want to darken my crease take this dark color here Put that on top of my crease. Now, to give the look some more dimension, I want to try something with you guys. I want to try using this shade here. This fuchsia color shape and put that layer that on the corner of my eyes I'm taking these two shades this two the two purple shades yeah I'm using that on top of my crease Then I'm going to try and attempt to cut the crease again, taking my Makeup Revolution in the shade C11, taking my Sigma M213 brush, I'm going to use that to attempt to cut the crease. To layer this shade here this gold shade there and tap that in the middle Then for extra drama, 
gonna add some more glitter shades I'm gonna take my NYX glitter eye primer this amount taking my other shading brush and I think I will add just some of this purple shade here just some of this So I'm just going to dust off the excess powder. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do right, I'm going to go finish the rest of my face and come back with you guys, okay? Hello guys, I am setting the rest of my face. I'm using the black opal deluxe finishing powder in the shade dark. For my under eye, I'm the light pink here. This one here. I hope you guys can see it. Put that first. For my cheeks, I'm going to be using the Kiko Makeup Meliano. For my lips, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Cut Suit um, Mega Last Lipstick in the shade Video Vixen. In a corner, I'm going to wet my brush. This shade here, this white shade here, this one here. Darlings, this is the finished look. What do you guys think? Here are my thoughts off the top of my head. Okay, I do agree with James that you do sh you should use an eyeshadow primer instead of using a concealer to set your eyes to in order to get a um, good color payoff. I use the Urban Decay eye primer potion which worked well, but still I did notice some patchiness in some areas, but all in all I like the palette in terms of beginning your journey it's always nice to have a nice palette that has a bit of matte shades shimmer shades some colors that come up some colors to play with so as a beginner I would I, I would recommend this palette to anyone I got it at Ulta I know they're available at, um, on the Murphy website on the Murphy website as well so the artistry palette from james charles hey sister nice addition thank you so much for creating a nice color palette that i can play with and a good addition to my palettes all in all this is the final look if you want to see me play with more items more new arrivals just hit me in the comments send me a dm look for me on instagram and on twitter i'm all there Thank you so much for watching the video and until then don't forget to like comment share and catch you guys on the flip side bye guys Mwah.